Knuckles, good morning, Scott Carlos. Good morning, Murrah. All right, uh, we were up. It was a little bit of a volatile day, but we ended up up, right? Right, just barely up. Dow was up six points, closed at 25322 in a light day of trading. Uh, gains in Home Depot and Boeing, offset losses in McDonald's and 3M. Uh, with such a big week for economic and political events, it's not surprising that investors are taking a wait-and-see approach. The yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury rose to 2.96%. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, now, look, I'm going to ask you a question. You need to tread very lightly. I'm going to ask you about a store you're not allowed to say anything bad about, Restoration Hardware. What do we know? What do we hear? Uh, RH, the company formerly known as Restoration Hardware, reported big earnings yesterday after the okay. bell and right, good. guided higher. All right, good. Uh, have you ever have you been in that store? I have not. I've heard it. I've heard they've got a lot of different like galleries type stores. Yeah. Been across the country. Don't so. do yourself a favor. Don't don't go into that <laughs> store because you'll spend a fortune. Uh, okay. <laughs> the outlet mall, the outlet store in the valley is good too if you ever get a chance. But that's a whole other story. All right. So good news out of uh, Restoration Hardware. U.S. Steel. What are we hearing from them? Now, this, this is some other good news. Uh, U.S. Steel opened one of two blast furnaces and their steel-making facility at their Granite City Works plant. The facilities have been closed since December of 2015. They plan to open a second blast furnace in October. It's expected that 800 jobs will be needed when both facilities are open, and hopefully many more jobs around the facility will be created. So that's good news. All right, good news. And then uh, Rolls-Royce Holdings, who are they? <coughs> Now, Rolls-Royce Holdings, that's the second largest aircraft engine maker in the world, has grounded all 166 engines on the 787 Dreamliner over a faulty part. This might be an opportunity for GE to gain a foothold in the Euro European 787 Dreamliner market. Currently, all American 787 Dreamliners use the GE engines, and most European 787s use the Rolls-Royce. Uh, GE engines have already... Uh, been proven to be more efficient, and if they work better, you might see you know some changes there. So wow, all right, good. And then uh, markets today, after all the world news, what are we thinking? Well, today the Dow looks flat again. Uh, it's a big day with the start of our two-day Fed meeting. We also expect to hear uh, hear if AT and T can take over Time Warner. The judge expected rule after the market closes today. So we'll see how these different pieces of news come out and see how it affects the market. Scott Crothers, good job as always. Uh, stay away from Restoration Hardware, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>